We are an immersion Samoan centre and the principles and the guiding philosophy is very different from other centres. We base our philosophy on Samoan values. Um, we look at the, the uh, metaphor of the po, holding up a Sam, the roof of a Samoan house. So those three poles are for alo, alo which is respect, tautua, which is service, and alofa, which is love. The Samoan language is really, really important. It is um, to give the children the identity, who they are, and um, their place, and the family. We only speak to them in Samoan, and we have areas set up that are English speaking that the parents can talk to the teachers away from so the children. Today. Oh, thank you. I am Samoan. Um, I'm not fluent in the language. I wanted my daughter to be fluent in the language. Um, it's also about her identity. And I wanted to ensure that uh, for, for our children, oh, they they had access to the language and the culture in a way that I didn't. We find it very hard to find uh, books that relate to the things that children are learning in Samoan. So we've made our own books so that um, it will help our children to learn. We have to make sure that we are um, setting the environment according to their development needs and so that they can um, be able to explore, so that they can um, grow up as confident learners in the, in the future. Well, we have a, um, a Samoan Fale that the children meet in, in the morning at and have their morning coming together. They're giving the opportunity for their babies to stand up and do their dance. And when we have assemblies at our oma, they have the confidence to stand up and perform in front of the parents and the whole school. The wider uh, family, Ainga, have a huge impact on the centre because they are part of the children's learning as well. The portfolios from this teaching uh, for the children on their assessment and learning and, and what we want, their out learning outcomes for the children, get shared with not only their parents but with the whole Ainga. Sometimes they even go back to Samoa and come back. We document all of our, you know, our trips and send them to the teacher for her to put into them. So, yeah, I like how it's a two-way communication. When we evaluate, we use all that to see where the interest of the child is and be able to extend their learning and also uh, feedback from the parents when we share the learning. But for us at any time we can go back to see how was the last quarter or how was the last year. And the, the comforting thing about that is from an educational standpoint we can see how they're progressing. The children are assigned to one teacher from when they are babies and then when they go up to the Obertus area, transitioning there, and then from there on when they go to um, primary school. I still remember how traumatizing it was to be dropped off on my first day of school. Here, it's so seamless and, and comforting to know that his first day he's joining his friends and it was, didn't even notice, there was no fear at all. I think the sense of belonging that children have here, their security in, in being part of their ainga, being part of the group, um, gives them that strong identity of who they are and where they can go. They have confidence in themselves. And for us, it's, it's, it's just a weight off our minds. And it's something that we've really enjoyed because as well as speaking the language, what we hope to achieve here is demonstrated every day in the way that they they care for the children. And that comes through through the everyday teaching that the teachers are doing, the, um, the learning that they're able to take on into the primary school um, and in, into the future. We, we have children from university that come back and tell us how they still remember being part of here and thank us for what we gave them. So I guess that makes us feel really good about what we're doing. Yeah.